Hey guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a very simple menu hover effect for you today. We've got our little regular menu up there. When we hover over it, it's going to change color and get a nice little blue background and grow a little bit there. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, as usual, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy it, paste it, use it how you wish. Now, if you're wondering what this looks like on mobile, we've actually got a custom mobile menu that we created yesterday. Have a look at yesterday's video if you're not sure how to do that. So when we go to mobile, that's going to over override our styles here. I've got Google Chrome browser here, so I'm going to hit the F12. And we'll toggle it. There it is on an iPad. Like I say, we've got our custom menu there, so it's not going to affect that on an iPad or an iPhone. There it is on an iPhone with our custom. Great, well let's get started. Let's get rid of my inspector here. To do this today, we're going to go down to our additional CSS panel for anybody that doesn't know how to get there. Go down to your dashboard. Once at the dashboard, go down to Appearance and then Customize. That's going to bring us to this page here and it'll show whatever you've got set as your home page. We're going to be working in the additional CSS panel at the bottom here. And there's my code. I'll just close the other one up. Okay, well, let's delete the code that I wrote here. And don't forget, I'll put it all down below the video for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. Now I've deleted that, let's publish and refresh. And back to our additional CSS panel. Okay, well, let's inspect one of these links now. As you can see, we're back to the default Divi menu up here. I'm gonna right click, hit inspect. Most browsers have an inspector nowadays. If yours doesn't, Google Chrome's a free download. I'm gonna turn my responsive off. I don't need it in responsive. And if I pull this up here, you wanna make sure you've got elements selected in one panel, you'll have HTML and style selected in the other panel, you have CSS. And if we look at this, it's highlighted this link here, an anchor tag, an href or a link. So that's the A and we're actually under the class of ET menu nav. So I'm gonna double left click on this one, ET menu nav and copy that class name, control C to copy. It's a class, all classes have a dot or a period in front, so you put a dot then the class name. And we want to target the anchor tag that's within it, which is our link up here. As you can see, when I hover over, it turns blue up there. And the green top and bottom is padding. Okay. So we want to affect ET menu nav A for the anchor tag. Great. What do we want to do with it? Well, let's open and close some curly brackets here. I only really want to affect it on hover. On regular state, I want it to stay looking exactly like it is. So to create the actual hover state itself, right after the A, the anchor tag there, no gap, I'm going to put a full colon, and the word hover, no gap again after the colon. If you put a gap in there, it's not going to work. Okay, so when we hover over it, I want it to grow. I'm going to use transform scale for that. It's transform, colon, the word scale. Then some round brackets with no gap at the end of scale. And we can tell it how much we want to scale it up. I'm going to scale mine up by about 20%. So I'm going to say 1.2. If I hover over that now, that should actually, yeah, as you can see, it's scaling up. It's getting bigger, which is great. You can do different values if you want to change things dramatically. Just put a comma after there and put your next value and you can do width and height separately. But that's actually going to work fine for me. So I'm going to put my semicolon in there because I want to write some more code. I also want to change the background color. So I'm going to say background blue for want of any other color. Now when we hover over, as you can see, it's got that blue background happening. I guess to make this more sort of in line with our site that we've got going on here, or to make it the same color perhaps as our logo there. I've got a free Google Chrome color picker up here. 
let's just grab that hex code. And let's actually make it that color instead. So it's a hex code that has a hashtag in front of it and then the code, and there we are. Now that should be the same color as our logo there. It's okay, it looks a little light to me, which makes me think the opacity is down on it. Let's just check the opacity on this. I'm gonna change that to one so it's absolutely fully solid. It may not do anything, we may have to force it. That's better, as you can see that color's a lot deeper there. So we brought the opacity. Great, well we can't really read the link itself, so let's change the color of the link. Now the color of the link is just simply put in color because we're already targeting the link. And then whatever color you want, I'm gonna make mine white, which is hashtag FFF. Well, it's actually six F with CSS3, but if you've got six all the same with CSS3, you only have to put three in there. Great, well that's a bit more visible, isn't it? But it's kind of butted up against the sides there, which is more than I want. So I'm going to add a little bit of padding just left and right there. But I'm going to do that in the regular state, not actually the hover state. So I'm going to copy this class name here so that it's there in all times, whether you're hovering or not. If I just do it in the hover state, it'll jump. So I'm going to grab that class link. Control C, I'm going to drop down below. Control V to paste. Open and close some more curly brackets. Inside we can tell it what we want to do. I don't need my inspector anymore. Okay, what I want to do is try putting perhaps 10 pixels padding left and right, or I could put it all round. I don't think it'll overwrite the top and bottom styles. Let's see. So I'm going to say padding. If we want to put it all round, we just need to put in one entry there. That's giving it 10 pixels all around, hopefully. No, that hasn't worked at all. So what we need to do is enforce it by putting important in there. And a semicolon in case we want to write another bit of code. And the reason that's not worked is I'm not targeting the right thing. I forgot to put my anchor tag, so I'm actually targeting the menu nav itself. So I need to put the A on there, the anchor tag, like we did up here. Now let's have a look. That's better. We've got our 10 padding left and right now. So that's going to work absolutely perfectly. I'll just take that important away, because if I don't have to use it, I don't want to use it. Just in case. Let's see if it still works. No, it doesn't work, so we've got to have that. We'll leave that in there. Great. Well, like I say, that's our little hover effect. Should be taken care of now. And let's go back to the page here. Still got it on there with our original light blue on there. If I refresh, it should go back to the normal. So we've got nothing on there. Now, if we go in here, now that we've written the code, once you're happy with it, I think that's what I was trying to achieve. That works for me. You can go and hit the publish button. Now, if I go back to the site and refresh, we should have our new colors here. And there we go, we've got that blue background and it's highlighting the link in the white and growing just a little bit right there. And that's a nice little eye-catching feature to have on your website. Really easy to do. Like I say, don't forget this code that I've written will be down below the video. Now we're using a custom menu for this today. If you're using the default Divi menu, the class might be slightly different. Let's just inspect this again. We were using ET menu nav. Let's just drag a let's just drag a site over that I've got a regular DV menu bar. If I inspect this one. We'll notice that the class for this is top menu nav. I'm going to copy that class. I'll put it in my CSS over here for anybody that wants to use the default. And I'll comment it out just below. It's a class, so it has a dot or a period in front of it. We're going to put that there and an anchor tag on the end there. Now remember you're going to want to use this if you're using the default menu. If you're using a custom menu like we are today, you're going to want to use this one right here. And what I'll do is I'll comment that out just in case you copy it over to yours. Forward slash star. 
and star forward slash to comment something out. And I'll put this all down below for you there. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a little hover effect for your Divi site. Really easy to do, nice little eye-catching feature to have on your desktop site. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.